Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Let me welcome everyone to the channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining and if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. And to all the new subscribers, welcome. You are welcome and thank you so much for becoming part of the family. Um, I hope that you will enjoy it here. I believe that you have been enjoying it so far and you have tried to catch up with all of my other videos. If not, please do so. And the other day, one of the vlogs, I actually showed you guys that I went to body shop. To body shop to purchase a few items. So that was a week ago. I have made use of some of the yes, some of the products. And I just quickly want to give you my feedback. And this one I'll start with this one it's been used I think it's somewhere here I've actually used it twice um, today I took a bath after when I was done working <clears throat> and this time I actually mixed it with my other Woolies one it's a very small bottle it's 250 ml and I paid 175 for it I thought that maybe if you put in some it will go a long way but um, the first time I actually used it, so that didn't have the, that was not the experience I got. There was no foam, and even the sm the smell was there, but not there. If you get what I'm trying to say. So the second time I decided to mix it with the Woolies one. All I can say is that I'm not happy. I'm not gonna buy it again. Um, yeah, I'm just not. I'm not happy. The smell, it smells great. It smells amazing. Oh, I love the smell. This, it's a no for me. I have not used it yet. It's the body scrub. Yeah, it's the body scrub. This I have not used. I paid $2.90 for this. It smells amazing. Yeah, I've not used it. It smells amazing. I also bought what else did I buy there? I need to think. I bought this carrot. Oh, yes, now I remember what I bought. So I bought this carrot carrot wash. Now this so far this is my second cleanser this is a face cleanser it's actually my second one from the body shop and all i can tell you is that it does what it's supposed to do it's supposed to give your face a glow and i've used it twice i'm happy with it so unfortunate that they're actually discontinuing this one because this and the vitamin c it's the same thing so I guess the next time I buy it, I'm gonna have to buy the vitamin C cleanser. But this, it's everything and more. And then lastly, from the body shop. No oh, man. Oh, it's the serum that I bought. So I just quickly had to go get the serum. The serum is actually in the vitamin C range which is perfect a perfect combination these two they're the best um this was very pricey well serums are expensive i paid 400 rand for this one so the serum so i, I don't want to talk say much about the serum because this is actually my first ever serum um so i'm not quite i can't compare it to anything else because i've never used any other serum um i want to buy i'm not too happy with the hydration that it gives but i want to buy a different one i've been checking which other serum i can go for just so that i get to understand the difference at this point i can't compare but all i can say is that i'm not too happy but yeah it's this 
so for okay then it clicks I bought this revolution protection boost and uh, I don't know if you guys can see and if I use this the serum and this my skin it just becomes something else and speaking of this I also have this um, aqua porin from Eucerin these two they they do the same thing but this one is like heavier on the skin so it's more oily especially for winter it's actually good for winter and this one is pretty much lighter on the skin but they would both give you that uh, moisture that you want and that hydration so for now since it's winter i'll be using the the revolution one and then in summer i'll go back to to this one and they both have spf um the eucerin one is spf 25 and the revolution one it has spf 13 so then i don't have my oh my sunscreens here so this is the only sunscreen i have and i'm happy with it so i am looking at trying the la roche posay one i'll see if i i'm not too crazy over it but people are giving good feedback so on days where i decide to do a skincare or do my skincare I'm not gonna say a routine because it's not a routine for me I struggle with the skincare routine to be honest I'm trying at least first step is to have all the products now what I need to do is try and be disciplined it's a bit difficult for me to be disciplined especially with the um, evening routine I can with the morning after dropping off the baby come back do my routine and shower and stop working but in the afternoon I, I really cannot drive what happens so but then if I happen to have a skincare routine no sort of skincare time um, I would go in with this cleanser and then use my glycerin toner and after that I would apply this serum and this is new this whole skincare time is new because remember this 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 serum it's fairly new um so after the serum i would go in with this revolution and after then i'll go in with my my sunscreen um yeah that's that moving on to the next talk about it's candles i only have two candles i'm also starting to enjoy candles this was my first ever candle this i purchased at at home and then i bought this candle at at cotton on and i must tell you that i'm truly truly disappointed by this candle and as you can see I've been burning this candle you know when you burn something and you're like it's burning it's supposed to give you what it's supposed to give but it's not and you keep thinking that okay let me burn it longer guys there's no amount of time that can give you a scent out of this the only time you get a smell to smell this is if you smell it before you burn it but now since I've been burning it I'm not smelling the scent I'm smelling the smoke not the smoke the, the smell of burnt candle I'm disappointed and today I actually saw on Instagram from I was complaining about the H&M candle and I was like go uh, I was um, I have the same problem with cotton on and I've been seeing people buying candles at H&M and I'm thinking they're happy but clearly I don't know I don't know but I'm just not happy with this one and I've, I've heard about H&M I won't 
go that way this one if you look inside I've been burning it I've had this one for longer I'm happy even now like just by opening it I can still smell the scent I think yeah the price is still here this one is 380 and I think this one is like 200 and something if not 300 and something this this one that has no smell very expensive and this one is 380 but this one is handmade in India this is not really a scent I would go for um, it smells nice but I'd like something much more softer um, calm um, light floral and all of that and this one it's it's giving you are it's giving something else but I can still tolerate it so oh then my cousin has recommended that I try I just want to find the text I forgot the name she said I should try Yankee candles this it's, it's sold at this camp or shit straight so I'm gonna buy the Yankee candle when I go to this camp and I want to try it and see and I'll give you feedback but as for cotton on stay away yeah so that's that I just quickly wanted to give you guys feedback some feedback I know maybe some of you will be like we never ask for feedback but I'm sure there are some people that would be interested um, so that they don't also make the same mistake on with the products that I purchased thinking that they would offer something better today it is a Tuesday actually the time is 1846 my baby is taking I believe it's a nap so this weekend well let me say uh, my baby is turning two in June June is in two days um, and I've been breastfeeding from day one and now the plan is to stop breastfeeding and I've been so anxious you oh, guys I've been like it's stress it's stress my neck like I try to avoid thinking about it but I can't help but to think about it so it's happening this coming weekend we're going to spend the weekend at my mom's place and so that I can have the support and all of that because obviously I've seen when when we had to wean him from the bottle the tea um, it took up like it was easy to move him from tea to wean him it took like two to three days but the, him getting used to the fact that the bottle's not there anymore it took I think it was even better back then because he had a backup which was breastfeeding but now I'm so anxious that he doesn't he, he doesn't have a backup he stopped drinking tea um, in Feb now we are going into June um, he stopped drinking milk formula when he was five months now he's not gonna have breast as well and he's so used to it like he calls it by name so now I'm so anxious but I have to do it I'll explain in one of the videos why but at this point I'm just too tired like not too tired to explain but just feeling it like he's older now and he feels more and he's, he wants it a lot so for me it's becoming draining and I don't want it to get there because now I'm so tired so much that it's so hard for me I'm lazy to cook lazy to go to gym and all of that so I can't even have time to myself because now he can't sleep without me because when it when seven or eight o'clock hits he just wants his mom and he wants his boob and he calls it by name he has to stop and also he's two now he's two so he's a big boy I know he'll call but I just need to um, stop being anxious I need to stop being anxious and, and trust that he'll be fine I'll give you an update maybe when I'm at home I'll give you like we will 
go home in the afternoon I'll pick him up from school come back prepare him keep, feed him um, go home winning him from the bottle he had to be sleep at home on Sunday as well so I don't know maybe we might sleep at home but I, I doubt we'll come back we'll come. that's all that I wanted to talk to you guys about and give you an update on so right now I'm just chilling he's sleeping I know he's gonna wake up and we're having low chilling at 8 now it's 10 to 7 I just need to prepare what he'll be eating because I made him some noodles he doesn't want them so clearly failed first attempt now I need to figure out what else is he going to eat before low chilling but see he's waking up what what hmm? say bye say bye say bye he's awake now so I need to prepare something for him to eat I'm glad that he woke up um, an hour before load shedding so that at least past 8 he'll be able to sleep again. But please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. Let me just prepare something for him. And you see, even now, you heard him. guys, <laughs> You can tell that he's two now. He's a big boy. Like, no, 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 no.